started reading the Quran. Um, this is the clear Quran, and it's the one that seems to be recommended the most. I also have the study Quran, which I think right now is probably too much for me, but um, in terms of just, you know, I want to just read it and um, see how my heart feels. I mean, most of my life, um, I've approached almost everything from my head and I've been, um, I've been agnostic for a long time. Um, I'm 53 years old and, um, um, but it was my first introduction to, um, Islam. Um, I had studied a little bit in college, uh, you know, in world religions, but, um, I kind of drifted away from it, you know, just cause I was young and I was, I don't know, kind of learning about a lot of things. And, um, one of the things that stuck with me, and it's kind of interesting, it's a phrase, not a phrase, it's a prayer, I guess, um, an Islamic prayer called La ilaha illallah. And ever since then, I mean, 30 years, whenever I'm having a rough time, I repeat that to myself. And I, I apologize if that's sort of an appropriation from someone who was not Muslim. Um, you know, again, it would come unbidden into my mind. I didn't I, I didn't, um, I knew what it meant, but, um, I felt like now that I'm looking back, maybe it was, um, God's way of trying to reach out to me anyway. So started reading this and, um, you know, someone on TikTok said, read the Quran for one hour without interruption and, you know, see how you feel. And so I did that and I actually read at, until 3 a.m. last night, and I'm not a night person, so this was a big deal. I, I couldn't stop reading, and I just felt this tremendous peace. And, and you know, my mind is always like, but, 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 but now that I'm, you know, I'm just trying to focus on my heart. I'm just trying to focus on how I feel when I read it and the messages it's trying to send to me, or maybe even not, not even so, not even like messages, just I'm trying to be open and read without preconceptions. So, you know, obviously one of the things that has struck so many people on TikTok is the faith of the Palestinian people. So I found this um, passage in the cow, um, Surah 2, um, 154 to 157. It says, never say that those martyred in the cause of God are dead. In fact, they are alive, but you do not perceive it. We will certainly test you with a touch of fear and famine and loss of property, life and crops. Give good news to those who patiently endure, who say when struck by a disaster, surely to God we belong and to him we will all return. They are the ones who will receive God's blessings and mercy, and it is they who are rightly guided. Um, you know, outside of like all the other amazing things I'm reading in the Quran, um, that just, you know, helped me understand a little bit how people who are being relentlessly bombed and attacked can have such faith. Um, <sighs> okay, anyway, um, I hope that I can learn from other people who post on my account and um, You'll be patient with me as I try not to offend anybody. That's my big thing is that I don't want to um, offend anybody. You know, just I'm just learning. I'm I'm pretty new to this, so be patient with me. Okay, bye.